That's quite big. Impressive. Hello everyone and now I have something really exciting to share with you all. The SNES XL, an enlarged version of the well-known SNES controller that has functional buttons exactly like the standard SNES controller for playing retro games. It is arguably the largest SNES controller in the world, judging by its size. I'm not sure if that is accurate. Designed entirely in Fusion 360, the controller's enormous size required us to split it into three separate parts, each of which has to print individually before assembling them into one huge body. We used 12mm by 12mm tactile switches soldered on some specially designed PCBs that were also created from scratch. The primary MCU, the Xiao M0, imitates a game controller device using the HID standard. The Super Nintendo Entertainment System or SNES controller is a classic video game controller that was designed and released by Nintendo in 1990s. It was primarily an input device for SNES, a popular 16-bit game console that gained widespread popularity during the early 1990s. With the large button and the USB input, this variant is essentially an oversized SNES controller. This project's 3D design began with an original SNES controller image that is imported in Fusion 360. The controller's width is calculated by calibrating the image and making it 471 mm from side to side. The controller shape was then created using the enlarged image, and the body was then made hollow using the shell command. Buttons were then modeled by using the same imported image. Every button has a PCB attached to the rear that houses a tactile push button. The PCB is positioned so that there is a 1mm space between top side of the push button and the bottom side of 3D printed button. The entire 3D part descends by 1mm when we press the button, toggling the push button and allowing us to view the button press. In the same way, the push button PCB is present in every button, including the D-pad, A, B, X, Y, start and stop buttons. Following the design completion, we export the layout for each board and utilize it to model three distinct PCBs, the Xiao MCU breakout board, the D-pad board, and the single button board. For more details about the schematic and 3D files, you can check out this project page. The link is in video description. After the PCB design was completed, the Gerber data was generated and then sent to PCBWay for samples. For this project, we made three different size shape PCBs. So three orders were placed in the white solder mask and black cell screen. The PCBs received within a week and they were excellent as expected. I really love the quality of the PCBs made by PCBWay. There are other manufacturers available but their service is always on another level. Check out PCBWay for getting great PCB service at a lower cost. I have created a brief build guide that walks you through the entire project's assembly process. For more information, visit the project's page. To put it briefly, we have to first prepare the PCB for each button, including the Xiao breakout board first. Subsequently, we work on the three parts, 3D printed body, attaching them together using fiber tape and super glue to create a single SNES body. The PCBs and button were then mounted by adding the threaded insert into the 3D printed body. Finally, we use M3 bolt to secure each 3D printed buttons in their proper location along with the switch PCB. For testing the buttons, we use a multimeter set in continuity mode to test the button connection. We attach one wire of the multimeter to the switch ground port and the other wire to the other pin of switch. When we press the tactile button, the multimeter beeps, which means the ground is being connected with the other pin of button, which means the button is functioning perfectly. We check all buttons with this process. This is the wiring diagram that was used in this build and it can be found on this project page which you can check out. The code and other files are available there as well. Once the sketch has been uploaded, we connect the controller to PC, launch device settings and the Seed Xiao MCU will appear as a game controller icon. 
we right click on the game controller icon and open its setting which will show the controller properties any button on the controller that we press causes the button in the property menu to change color indicating that the setup is functioning and the button is sensed now that the controller is working we use the previously created power pi setup to play retro games power pi is a lightweight integrated raspberry pi dock that powers the pi wirelessly thanks to the internal lithium ion battery pack the recal box is the emulation os that is being used here and a raspberry pi 4 has been utilized in this power pi as the project's last test we use the power pi to run classic doom and play the game with the snes excel controller I had to set the controller down on the table and use the keys to play the game because it was too big for me to control it in the air. Here is the finished result of this giant build. The SNES XL controller which allow us to play nearly every SNES game ever created including Doom, Super Mario Bros etc. The sheer magnitude of this project make everything extremely cool. Thus, even though we have to model everything from scratch, it was well worth it. This project uses a Xiao MCU, but any MCU that support HID can be used in its place. For instance, we could create this project with an Arduino Leonardo, Micro, Pro Micro or even RP2040. Well, that is it for today, folks. I will be back soon with a new project pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. Peace out.